Hello everyone. In this video, we will see another interview question which was asked in one of the interviews regarding business rules. So this is a very interesting use case and after looking at the use case, you can try it at your own or you can look at the video and understand how we did it. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hardeep Singh and if you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to smash the like button. The use case is as a problem manager, I want to add creator or open by user of a problem ticket by default in the watch list so that they have the visibility to the updates of a problem ticket. So whenever a new problem ticket is created, I want to add the creator or the open by user to the watch list in the problem ticket. So this is a very genuine use case and also it will help the creator of the ticket to see all the updates of the problem ticket. If you understood this use case, you can go ahead and implement it in your personal developer instance or you can stick here and I'll explain you the logic and as well as the code in service now. The logic for this would be whenever a new record is being inserted into the problem ticket, we will write a business rule at that point and then we will check if the watch list already does not have the creator of the ticket in the watch list, we will go ahead and add that. And that's it. That's a pretty simple, straightforward use case. Let's jump into service now and see how can we actually build that business rule. I'm in my service now instance and I recently upgraded it to Xanadu release. And if you want to check out all the new features in the Xanadu release, so please subscribe to my channel and I will be uploading few videos soon on that. I will click on all. I will search for business rules and under system definition, I will click on business rules to create our new business rule. Then I'll click on new and here I will have to give the name of the new business rule and I can type add creator to the watch list. The table name would be problem. So here it is. I will click on advanced because we will require some scripting in this and I will keep the when to run as before and I will select insert. But if you want to run this business rule on every update and check it on every update, then you can click on update, but it doesn't make sense in the real life. So we will stick to before insert. So it says if we are inserting a new problem ticket before inserting it into the database, we will run this business rule and I will click on advanced and here I will check what is in the current watch list for that I can create a new variable and maybe I can say where underscore watch list. So this is my variable name and here I can get the list of the watch list if there are any users were added or not. The backend name of the watch list is watch underscore list. So you can go ahead and check that in the problem ticket and I will also show you in a minute. After this, we will be checking this variable if the current user is already part of this watch list or not. For that, I will capture the sys ID of the user who created this ticket. So initiator sys ID current dot open by dot sys ID dot to string. So now we will get the sys ID of the user who opened this problem ticket also. And now we have to check the watch list if that watch list contains this sys id or not. I will copy this variable dot index of and I will paste the sys id of the user who created this ticket equals to equals to minus one. So if it is minus one, that means the sys id of the current logged in user will not be present in the watch list. So we will go ahead and add that in the watch list. So remember that watch list is an array because it contains multiple user records or multiple records. So I will go ahead and add that user. I will type here current dot watch list plus equals to and then I will add a comma here and after that a plus sign and then I will add the sys id of this user here and else we will just type else for our testing purpose. This is not required in the original use case, but we can say here gs.addInfoMessage 
initiator was already part of watch list i will just format this code and save this and now we will go ahead in the problem ticket and first of all there are a couple of things we should do before testing so i'll just quickly guide you those as well if i go into one of the problem tickets randomly you would see out of the box in this personal developer instance we don't get the watch list so we will first have to add that watch list on this form for that i will go to configure i'll go to form design and i will add that watch list i will search for watch list here i will simply drag and drop it anywhere on the form i will save this and i will refresh the form and close this design and you would see the watch list is here now now we will go ahead and create a new problem ticket because our business rule runs only on the insertion i will just give a random statement here this is a problem test 1 i will save this and as soon as i save you see the system admin has been added automatically to this record we will go ahead and do another testing here so we will create another record and i will type this is a test 2 and here i will add the system admin before we insert the record now it should not again add the system admin it should rather show that message which we had written here initiator was already part of the watch list i will save this and you see the message came initiator was already part of the watch list and it did not add the system admin again so our business rule is running as expected i hope this video was helpful to you and you learned something new in service now and this was an interesting use case if you need more videos like this let me know in the comments and if you have any questions which were asked during the interview please let me know in the comments i will go ahead and try to resolve those for you Thanks for watching the video till the end and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to smash the like button